Yo, grapes and salutations. Welcome everybody to the next installment of Sherlock Holmes chapter one as we pick up part two. Um, when we left off, I believe we had to go talk to one of the maids that were hiding. But, um, it was, it was behind the window in the middle of the seance. Yeah, she witnessed all the freaky deaky stuff going down. And so um, we're supposed to go talk to her to see what's what. Yeah, I believe she's over here. Yep, there she is. But anyways, just want to say thanks for the love and support on the channel as always. Um, yeah, we are playing on Xbox Series X to get all that 4K. This painting looks authentic, but it's just a talented imitation. Oh, rip. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. Yeah, 60 FPS goodness. And... Yeah, thanks to Untold Tales and uh, Frogwares for sending over this copy to uh, play it on the channel for y'all. Um, just to FYI, I will be giving away a free copy. All you got to do is be a sub, leave a comment, and Bob's your uncle. Um, I will put you guys in the randomizer and give out a free copy. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you oh, need oh, oh. more towers? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did sure. you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? Hmm. I'm solving crime. Oh, we'll, we'll debate her. We'll tell her that we're a writer. I'm a novelist documenting the supernatural and those who witness it now. Should you take a starring role in the tale, I will need your name. Oh my, a book? And you want to include me? I'm Lucia, Lucia hmm. Saleta. Something went wrong during the seance, Lucia, but no one will tell me what happened. You would be a valuable interview if you were there. I was, and I saw everything with my own eyes. Hmm. What did you see in the room? Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium mm. started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest, a glowing cloud or, or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Hmm. Did you see anything else? And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici. He was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. I have your account memorized. Good day. You lied to the oh, poor dang. girl, Sherry. What a tease. Curious your dream maid's about testimony. Being a that book. Surely a pleasant dream is better than no dream at all, John. Oh, let's hmm. get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. True. A seance room. Okay. Let's do it. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Interesting. So it was Colonel Mustard with a candlestick in the library, was it? Oh, there she is. Let's see. Um, nope. I think it was the Lord. What's his name? Kevin that chucked the chair at the medium. And yeah, there is the lady that was spotted looking through the window. Yoink. Got it. Mm, 
I don't think that went down in here. <gasps> nope. There we go. And supposedly, yes, yeah, some person named Bubble jumped out of his chest. I don't know who Bubble is. Bobble? Bubble? Something like that? Let's go ahead and validate. It Yoink. all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. True. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Mm. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching... The Cravens the are upstairs in room 226. Right? It is one of our finest like suites. A jellyfish? Mm. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Okay, 226. Let's go. Bacchus would find this place incredibly dull, don't you think? Bacchus, huh? Who is Bacchus? Uh, let's see, room 226. There's 225. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember? Hmm. Well, now Sherlock's the creeper. We got a creep in. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Eavesdropping. What actions by Lady Craven arouse suspicion in the maids? All right, let's go. No. No. Hmm. Damn, was on the lookout. Yep. No. No. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Barely. Almost <gasps> ran out of time. Oh, and they go scurrying off, huh? Hey, me overheard me. We busted. Uh, gossip regarding Lady Craven. Mm. I overheard the two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossiped that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven on the grunk. Um, they also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. Interesting. New entry in John's final gossip regarding Lady Craven. Mm, okay, let's go ahead and talk to see what's what. Uh oh, cutscene. Hmm. Tore up note. Spilt bottle of wine. Looks like a fish knife. Hmm, there's the diamond. Oh, great Scott. You're here. At last. I didn't do that. I swear. I found her this way. I don't well, I did have some questions for her, look but it seems I've enough. arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. True. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the True. only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Lord be creeping too. Not like a bought and paid for, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, where did you go next? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Uh -huh. Ask partook. anyone there. Well, well-earned bottle or two of whiskey. Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? 
He's in room 225. Mm. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself, then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. What did you do next? So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. Mm. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the huh. diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what it's I can find. It's not looking good, brother. It's not looking good. An hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Hmm. Okay. All right, let's check this out. Yep. Mm, strangulation. Strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. Hmm. Mm, nothing there. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. I like that she has a fork in there, though. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. This must be the missing diamond. Hmm. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. True, true. Elementary, my dear man. Elementary. Should be my dear Watson. What do we got going on here? Hmm. Fard Rouge Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. Interesting. Okay. What have we got here? Aha! A neat hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? <sighs> hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Interesting. Let's see what this note is. thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Oh, it's just money. It's cash. I guess this is the last one. Hmm. What does it say? Virtuous. Odd actor. Hmm. Hmm. Tape it. Something courage, flavor, Latin. Virtus or Dactus Apit, courage tastes bold. Oh. A unique family motto. The mystery Flavor. deepens. A victim with a checkered past and poor taste. Interesting. Okay, so I think that's a wrap in here. I got that door to check. Let's go ahead and check it. A remarkably simple lock. Weak, cheap, brass, ordinary. Guess that's it for that, huh? Hmm. Let's go over and scope out this other room real quick. Someone was not happy with his post. That's so crazy because there was a knife on the night table over there, spilt bottle of wine. Got a yellow dot right here. The letter regarding the stolen ring. Dear sir, 
have to inform you that the theft investigation continues. However, the ring has not yet been found. We had to free L.O. DuPont, the servant, as we were unable to find evidence of his pers precipitation participation. Dear Lord, we all got to participate in the crime. Um, we will inform you of any progress. In this case, Lieutenant Gavaro Marcel, please commensurate. Okay. Not that good. Mm hmm. Oh, got something there. Letter regarding compensation, Lord Craven. You promised me compensation for your gross misconduct in order to cover the cost of my treatment and quell the scandal. Yet I have not received a penny. You know that I lost my job after the false accusations. Now, even after my innocence has been proven, I can't return to work because of my hand injury. If you continue to ignore me, I shall be forced to appeal this in court. Is that one page? Letter regarding compensation. Hmm. I wonder if these are all topics that we can discuss with uh, Mr. Craven. Lord, Lord, his Lordship Craven. Dear Lord Cra Craven, what on earth have you been up to? Good God, man. Let's talk to him. Provide evidence. I am needed elsewhere. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Mm, regarding conversation. I wonder if he'll talk to me about this. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. Okay. Provide evidence. Choose evidence. Found a pile of money and family ring hidden in a secret stash of money. Uh, we'll go. Let's see what this Stop is. wasting time. The murderer is getting away. Hmm. Probable oh, theft. Uh, what about the... Let's see. I found these jewels secretly oh, away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. Oh, and it interesting. turns out she had them all along. The trollop. Mm. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Girl is scandalous. Um, the ring with the moth design. Let's uh, go with that one. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? It's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see hmm. Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. Interesting. Okay, let's go down to... That really didn't do much for us, but anyway... A little bit of drama, mystery. Let's go down to the receptionist. Get the ring to, oh, the ring, the key, to Mr. I don't know. See, it sounds like his last name or his name is Medici. Give me the key to Luca Galici's room. Galici. I need to there talk to him about the events of the séance. I suppose you are an impartial outsider. All right, but yes, please yes, do not man. give it to Lord Craven. We do not want to see our reputation damaged further. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty surprise awaits upstairs. <laughs> Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. True, true. Such a shame that Inspector Placido vanished. I'd feel much safer with him handling this. Hmm. Inspector Placebo. Must not be a real inspector. Okay. Um, press uh, to quickly pin evidence without going to your casebooks like left and right through clues. Oh, that's kind of interesting. The key for the medium. Uh, I found this cheap ring with a moth design. I imagine we could probably ask that. Um, these things also to Senior Medici. We're good. There we go. Too much stuff on the screen. All right, 225. Let's go. Oh. You're busted. John, how did you beat me here? How did he beat me here? 
Hmm? Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Hmm. Huh? And you won't mind me taking a look around your room? Hmm. hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. True, true. What is the guy going on this? Some shrimp? Fish? Cocktail sauce? Okay. Respect, respect. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or, or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. Got a valid point. A letter of invitation. Dear Luca, I hope you will have time to visit our estate and perform another seance. Since I was last able to speak to my husband through you, I feel that my life has changed completely. I cannot wait until I can speak to him again. I am anxious for your visit. Sincerely yours, Countess Lemora. Lemora. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis. Mm. Uh, some clues can be examined with chemical analysis. Open your case book with that uh, and highlight the evidence marked with the flask icon and press A. Okay. Facebook. So let's see, we got uh, something three and two. And we got a chemical operation. So the formula is, let's go with this one. We'll put this guy out here as far as a reagent is concerned. Um, put this dude out there. Um, yep, let's go ahead and set this guy right here. I guess actually there's, hmm. I don't know what this uh, tube appears for. Should be, you know, put a tube here, tube here, and then mix the two tubes together, and then boom, you know, go do that. But let's see what happens. Um, mix that there. This guy there. Because, I mean, you do get the two arrows. So we'll toss this dude over here. Confirm. Yoink. All right. Tell us what we got, Johnny. Um, the reaction shows that it is a rubber latex mixed with phosphorus. A much as much as the chemical elements is dangerous to hold in the mouth. I'm quite disappointed. I expected to find something trickier. Hmm. Shame. Interesting. My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. True. True. So the jig is officially up. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Okay, take a quick look around here. Nothing. Let's talk to the medium. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance, Mr. Galici. So please, tell me what you saw. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. My conjuration was successful. Perhaps even too successful. I am sure this spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think the police will believe you? Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mm, took a heavy blow, bleeding nose, shit's busted. Then elongated fingers, trained in the sleight of hand. Skinny, seems malnourished, drawn complexion. Hmm. Fresh scrapes, slightly bleeding, scratched wrist. Mm -hmm. Did 
use a shoe shine. Polish on some shoes. Got anything else going on here? Eureka. Slight discolorization. Uh, discoloration. Uh, used a lot of makeup. Except. Hmm. Uh, Luffy Gluchi is lean, appears malnourished. His nose is bleeding from a heavy punch. Uses makeup to hide traces of his illness from malnourishment. His hands and thin fingers indicate that he is skilled at conjuring tricks used to manipulate a concealed item. Has fresh scratches and scrapes on his wrist from a recent and short fight. I think he tries his best as a medium, but his business doesn't go well and he sometimes go without food. Mm. Uh, look, he leans up here, has hands, thin fingers, uses makeup to hide possible. Oh, tattoos. He has fresh scratch scrapes on his wrist from a recent short fight. I believe he's more criminal than a medium. And this is this new way of earning money by deceiving the wealthy. Lock it in, Johnny. Uh, character portrait. Luca Galici. Uh, Luca Galici is a little pair as well. His hands, fingers is used makeup to hide his tats. Has scratches from scrapping um, before he is more, or I believe he's more criminal than medium. And this is this new way. Yup, yup, yup. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh, no, wait. What am I thinking? The spirits will have told you this already. I, I'm <laughs> not in the necessary state for summoning. <laughs> the spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I in fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man, but I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well. Oh, and his glasses are broken, can make too. The dead it's crazy. Hmm. Talking about your scratches first, though. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. Hmm. Do you realize just how dangerous it is to hold phosphorus in the mouth? I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. Interesting. Matt kicked us back out. Mind Palace. Hmm. Interesting. You know, and that's the double doors to uh, Lady Craven and Lord Craven's room right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Mind Palace. Hmm. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. I don't think so, dude. Let's see. Luca can easily pick the lock. The lock between the two hotel rooms were weak. Luca could have easily picked it. Okay, let's get back to clues. Definitely could uh, conclude that uh, Emma was stealing from Lord Craven.
Lucas scratches were left by the servants while roughly escorting left by the servants while roughly escorting Luca roughly escorting Luca to be locked in his room. The servants mistreated and scratched him. Emma's scratched Luca. Emma left the scratches on Luca's hands while fighting for her life. Hmm. Emma had a history of deceit. Emma was a thief, but made Lord Craven believe the servants were stealing. She'd done it throughout their trip. This is true. Okay. Nice, okay. Luca and Emma could have met before. Luca and Emma both have jewelry with the same moth design. Could they have something in common? Interesting, interesting. Luca could know Emma was it. Luca could know that Emma was a thief. If their paths had crossed in the past, Luca could well know of Emma's predilection for thievery. Hmm. Ah, Lord Craven punched the medium compensation for abuse. Yep, true. Lord Craven cannot control his temper. Lord Craven is an unstable man who cannot manage his anger. Mm, so the plot thickens. Very interesting. This is kind of cool. Let's get back here where Seance Seth. Wonder her. Huh? There we go. Mm, the murder left the diamond. Whoever killed Emma left the diamond beside her body. Lord Craven caught Emma with the stone. Lord Craven returned to the room just as Emma was hiding the diamond and caught her off guard. Interesting. That's a possibility. Oink. Luca could know Emma set him up. Uh, Luca could know Emma set him up. The medium. Luca Gaichi could have known that Emma was a thief and that she was trying to frame him for her crime. Very plausible. Very plausible. Man. Sus AF. There's a thief among us. That game among us. Ah, uh, Luca Gaichi is the murderer. Emma tried to frame Luca, the medium. For her theft of the diamond. In revenge, he killed her. Bring Luke, Luca Galici to justice. Luca Galici is the murderer. He couldn't stop himself from killing Emma, even though he could have just told the police everything. Hmm. Help Luca Galici escape. Luca fought for his life, given his checkered past. If he were arrested, nothing could save him from a death sentence. Emma knew it. I will not stop him from fleeing to start a new life. Uh, 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 man, I think actually Luca Galici is a murderer. Let's see what happens if we just back out. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, let's leave. I need to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we need to go talk to the other dude. We got some more stuff to figure out here. This is getting really, really interesting. As it sits right now, we can toss old boy in jail. Do something about it, Holmes. I, I did not do it. You know that. Mm, 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 mm. I guess it's on. That's it. We got nothing, nothing more to, um, it's time to solve this thing. Ah, we're going to ham old boy up. He's going to jail. This dude is going to jail. Elementary. Oh man, accuse. So, Luca huh? Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Hmm. 
locks can be picked. You knew Emma was a thief. Ooh, man, we got it all right here. I wasn't going to, I mean, I wanted to weigh that out a little bit. Just, just straight up say murder. Uh, locks can be picked. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? True. Your scratches are damning. Your wrists are bloodied, and there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. Oh, 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 here comes the... You ready for it? You ready for it, y'all? Here comes the nail in the coffin. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> oh, the big thud. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Confess, Luca. You did it. It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes. Oh, I dear. Her. I had he to. admit it. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the Moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us. Stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just Ooh. remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered the while she indulged. And I grabbed her throat. Oh, there it is must be punished i'll give you a chance i don't think so i don't think so death is death bruh and no matter what the circumstances are he should have called the police right away and had her arrested for being a thief and uh maybe he could have got um some sort of reconciliation and get some cash back from her but ooh, man that's a good one Punish it is. Murder is murder, Luca. Yeah. You could have told Lord Craven the truth and seen Miss Emma's downfall, but True. you could not restrain yourself. He would never believe me. We will never know. Still, perhaps a jury will be more easily swayed. If not, you'll get to see your friends in jail again soon. Damn. Case closed. We'll meet again, Holmes. I will get you. In this mm. life or the next. Get your hands off me. All right. You keep blowing those green bubbles. He murdered the woman who put him in jail. Should we be worried? Fear not, John. Unlike Miss Emma, I will see him coming. True, true. Yoink. Diamond in the rough. That was too much the first fun, case? Sherry. Oh, I'm buzzing. 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 Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made wow, their wow, choices. Wow. Great job. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, Graphics that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness. Really awesome. So we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything, even murder, and then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence. Oi. Thank you very much. Hmm. I my must admit, existence. even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I mean, that's legit graphics. Beautiful scenery. Well played. Ghost of the Past. Case complete. Nice. Alrighty, y'all. We are going to take a pause for the cause right here, right now. 
definitely will be picking it up it takes a little bit to get you know in the groove um yeah especially like doing the chemistry thing a uh, little sketch uh, mixing things together and stuff and everything um you know it, it's just not like in your face you have a little bit of trial and error in there to kind of find out how things all work in the game that's what i said lots of moving parts going on all at the same time so it's still once i actually get into the game it really starts to flow anyway that's uh because now i'm starting to get a little hooked and want to finish and beat sherlock holmes chapter one which i think we shall um in the next part until then my friends just want to say thanks for the love and support in the channel um but yeah until then yeah will and shall catch you guys on the other side peace